Welcome to the DCC Museum. Hi and welcome back at the museum. Today a shipment arrived from the Netherlands. It was sent to us by Tom Weyers. Tom donated six of what we called white label DCC titles. What are white label DCC titles? They have a white label and are printed with a 9 or a 24 needle printer and they look like a home recording, but they're not. They're professionally mastered and we know this because the album information, title information and artist information are on there. And you can only get that information onto a tape if you would have the professionally mastering equipment. So Tom brought us in contact with a mastering engineer, Harry van den Oever, and he explained to us that during his tenure as a mastering and duplication engineer at Philips, they often would make home recordings for home use and testing purposes. And that's how they ended up on a white label DCC title. We're gonna unpack this box with you and share a little bit of this story. We previously found one white label DCC title is of a band called Oof, a local band from Brabant in the Netherlands. And we were flabbergasted on how they would end up actually on a DCC album. This explains everything. Johan de Haan previously sold this album to us, so we only have one. There was going to be six more in this package. So let's open this up. So this one is Ome Henk. Ome Henk is weer bezig. Local Dutch band. This one is called Carnival 1995. Carnival, which is a pretty big festivity if you live in the south of the Netherlands. This is the Rosenberg Trio Carnival. Turn up the bass 18. And Irene Moors, local Dutch artist, and the Smurfs. This one I'm particularly keen on because it's too unlimited, also never um, released on DCC. But this title, No Limits, uh, often used here on sporting events in the United States. Most people in the United States do not know that Too Unlimited is Dutch pride. And we also got, we bought this actually from, uh, from him, which is the other album by Depeche Mode called Songs of Faith and Devotion. There are only two white label DCC titles that are officially made for testing. We have previously shown the Kermit the Frog and Supertramp album as they were used by Philips to show the ITDS and lyrics possibilities for future use. All other tapes look similar but according to engineer Harry van den Oever were never distributed for sales demonstrations. When using any of these white label titles they should display all information as a regular official title. 
due to copyright protections, we can only let you hear short samples. When using our ITTS video box, we are able to show more detailed information on any DCC title. It seems that they are mostly used the standard template that we have seen with the Supertramp album, but no lyrics or anything special. For the tapes that came without any cover, it does show us the track information, including the typos that you would naturally never see in an official release. So we talked to Harry van den Uver on the phone intensively and he agreed to do a follow-up video as soon as we are allowed to travel to the Netherlands. The moral of the story is that he told us that these DCC titles were mostly made for private use during a coffee break or after hours where one colleague would actually take a CD into the mastering studio and they would master just for fun these DCC titles that never really became available to the main public. Therefore, they are unique and they have some provenance to the DCC Museum. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time.